Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to see how to do this light and dark mode react question. It asks us to create a card with heading and a paragraph with a button at the top to change the mode from light to dark. If you don't understand this, let's click on show preview. And uh, over here we have a button here and then we have some heading and a paragraph. So this is basically a simple card. And if we click on this change mode, so we can see that the mode inside changes from light to dark. So by default, it's a light mode. And when we click it, it changes to dark mode. So it's a pretty, uh, I would say, an easy or beginner level question. But if you have just started React or doing some challenges in React, then I would consider like doing this just to practice your uh, some of the skills in React you would need to uh, make this kind of component. So let's start coding this feature or this component. So first of all, we will need some kind of state that manages the light and dark mode, right? So let's start with that. I think that's the easiest uh, step. So let's give it... Uh, the name of that state light mode and then set light mode as our setter function and then we will using use state hook and then uh, the, when initially this component will render we will give it a true value so the default mode of uh, of that component will be light mode because this is currently uh, if i show you if i refresh it so this is currently uh, in light mode by default so we'll make it true and then we will need to create some kind of uh, let's let's create our div first. I think yeah, that's that's probably the uh, the way like we should proceed. So let's create a div and let's give it a class name here. So let's give it some CSS properties and we will be using uh, Tailwind. If I didn't tell you before, okay. So let's make the text black. I think by default it's black, but let's just give it a, a black text. And we'll give it a white background and we will give it a shadow uh, shadow MD just so that it has like nice shadow and we will make the corners rounded so give it the rounded uh, uh, we'll give it uh, rounded LG and then we will make uh, the overflow hidden when that's done we will need to put our uh, HMP tag right so let's give it a class name and just let's give it some padding so that it doesn't look too bad uh, let's give it a padding of uh, the x-axis 6 and the y-axis 4 and if I go there we will have a small box because we didn't add anything so now we will add our h2 tag and we'll call like card heading and then below it we'll give it a p tag okay so let's give it some more CSS so that it looks a little decent Let's give it text black and then we will give the same background white and we'll give the text Excel. We'll make it make the font bigger and then the font size will be semi bold. So if I save it, then it looks a little better now. Now let's fix our paragraph. So let's give it a class name here. Oh, not click. Class name and then we will give it same so that it looks decent and we'll give it a text of excel and then oh we don't need to give that and then we'll give uh, some margin at the top so that has some margin so right now we have our card and then we have this button which is currently doing nothing okay so now see we give it a background of white right and then uh, make the text uh, black so what we need to do is find a way so that when we click it the background changes to black and the text changes to white because that this is literally what uh, the toggle between light mode and dark mode is so let's let's do that now how would we do that uh, we can do that in many ways i mean there are so many different ways that you can do that but let's uh, go with the simplest approach so first of all we need to have some kind of uh, on click event listener on our button so that it knows like when something clicks or not right and then let's uh, maybe like call it change theme so whenever a user clicks this button this function will run correct now let's make that function so let's make uh, this function change theme and this function will basically just uh, will it will toggle this light mode from true to false so let's do that so let's pass our light mode here so if it's true it will become false and if it's false it will become true 
So right now if it won't do anything, but if I inspect and maybe add console, and if I maybe just print uh, console dot log uh, light mode, right? So initial render it should come as true. So let's give it a refresh, and then if I click it, it comes true because that's a default, and then it's false, true, false. And the reason it shows true on the first click because I put console log before it, before the setup function. So if I put it after the setup function, then you will see the false first. But right now this is what uh, it's doing. So we, and this is what we want. We want that state from toggle from true to false. Now when that's done, now let's think how can we uh, change the the color and everything like background color and the text color. We can do that uh, with, uh, with uh, something called ternary operator in JavaScript. So let's let's first of all make some uh, uh, make some classes here so that we can pass these uh, CSS properties uh, as variables. Okay, so first of all we can copy that copy these text black and background white and then let's call it uh, const uh, const primary color and if primary color is light I mean light mode then if that is true then we will then we will pass our when it's light mode then the text will be black and background will be white, correct? Otherwise, we want text white oh, and background black. Now, we have like this, uh, we have this variable which is linked to the light mode now. So we have our state here, right? And we are changing that state with this click. And now we can use this variable uh, to change the theme, I mean to change the, the CSS properties. So instead of writing that, let's remove that and let's add our backticks and do some string interpolation. Okay, so we'll add our dollar sign and we add, we'll pass our variable here and this won't work because we need to put that inside those curly brackets and this won't work because see we have primary color here so let's delete this guy and put that and now this will work now and if I change it you can see something is happening here so let's save it and now we have our primary color here now let's do the same thing with our with our h2 and p tag so now we added our primary color property to both h2 and p tag. So if I refresh it and click here, then we can see that our dark and light mode is working. So this is probably the easiest implementation, I would say, to achieve that. There are a lot of things we can improve here. Um, I mean, we can make these guys variable and these guys as well. And then if we want to change anything, then we don't need to like add it here. So we can have like one const here, one variable. And then if we change any, anything there, we don't need to like come here and change, do that. So that's probably the one thing like we can fix here. Uh, but other than that, I think this is what I wanted you guys to show like how we can achieve this, this simple feature. Um, yeah, so if you want to uh, see other questions, I am keep on adding those questions here. So if you're interested, you can go to webmasterdev.com and I'm adding all sort of different questions related to React, JavaScript, CSS. Uh, if you have any question, you can send it to me or if you have any doubt or anything, you can post in the message. Sorry, uh, you can post your comments. Well, that's all from today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial or next challenge, whatever you can call it.